Good afternoon, Northern Michigan, from your local National Weather Service office in Gaylord. This is meteorologist Dave Lawrence bringing you the latest rendition of our hazardous weather briefing for Northern Lower and Eastern Upper Michigan. Today is Friday, April the 19th, 2013. Well, we'll jump right into it. Uh, hazardous weather expected here over the next couple of days. Really, most of the hazardous weather will occur both tonight into the first half of Saturday. Uh, those gusty winds we've seen out there all day long, those will gradually subside as we go through the evening and especially overnight hours. Though things will still remain gusty, uh, just not expected to see wind gusts of 45 to 50 miles an hour like we've seen this afternoon. Those will be more like in the 25 to 30 mile an hour range through the overnight hours. Even still, there is potential for some power outages and down tree limbs here as we go through the evening hours before those winds really do begin to drop off. Bigger story, though, accumulating lake effect snow is expected. Uh, really, the weather pattern looks a whole lot lower like, say, November or December than uh, late April this time of the year. But uh, we will expect some snow for the snow belts of eastern upper and northwest lower Michigan. And we'll talk about amounts here in just a second. Looking at our late afternoon weather map complex low pressure system, uh, really two low pressure systems just to our north. The first one of those brought us that heavy rain we saw over the past uh, couple of days. The second one is the more impressive one with some very, very chilly air arriving along and just behind that little trough axis you can see. That is what will shift our winds to the northwest as we go through the evening hours. And again, usher in that very, very chilly air, helping to set up a lake effect snow machine as we go through the overnight hours. Now here's our target areas for those northwest winds. You can see uh, mainly across Chippewa County and, of course, much of northwest lower Michigan. However, uh, with those gustier and stronger winds out there, we will see some of those snow bands push further inland than is typical uh, for, say, a lake effect snow situation. Uh, that will help to spread out accumulation just a bit and perhaps push them even a bit further inland mm -hmm. than what we usually see. Uh, what we're talking about in terms of accumulations, though, a uh, quick glance here, uh, looks like the highest amounts across northwest lower Michigan. Well, we may actually see a couple of bands of uh, heavy snow set up. Again, these are sort of aerial averages, if you will, over a county. So don't take any specific number and think you're going to get exactly that much snow, but rather a general 2 to 4 inches expected across northwest lower Michigan and similar amounts across, uh, say, most or at least a good portion of Chippewa County as well. Now that lake effect snow will wind down very quickly uh, by Saturday evening as high pressure quickly arrives. That will set up what should be a very chilly night Saturday night with readings down to the single digits and teens. Uh, high pressure then moves off to our east as we go into the first day of the new work week, helping to usher in southerly winds and perhaps, just perhaps, finally push some areas closer to 60 degrees, something we haven't seen at all so far this year. Uh, don't get too used to that, though. Low pressure system you can see off to our west and its associated front will sort of fold over into the Great Lakes region by midweek. And that will bring a couple of more chances for rain, along with yet another cool down from Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday. Looking further ahead as we wrap up April, head into early May, 8 to 14 day outlook still showing uh, enhanced probabilities for below normal temperatures and basically near normal precipitation. Uh, there are some hints, though, as we go into the next week or two, that this very chilly pattern may slowly begin to relax uh, and hopefully might be able to usher in some much warmer weather at some point as we get into early May. Otherwise, here's a quick summary for tonight. Again, chilly out there, lows in the 20s, maybe a couple of teens, windy with snow showers. And you can see a list of our hazards right there, again, with the main hazard being winter weather expected through the overnight hours and into the first part of Saturday. Well, this concludes the latest rendition of this briefing. Thanks for your time today. Uh, be sure to stop by, interact with us on Facebook and Twitter. Send us your pictures of any snow. Send us your snowfall amounts as well. We'd love to have those. Uh, otherwise, come back and look for the latest update to this briefing, which will be posted online no later than 5 a.m. tomorrow morning.